The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm meteorologist Edward Shaw. Taking a look outside at our sky cam. Again, plenty of clouds in the sky right now. 78 in Withville, 84 in Martinsville, 82 in Roanoke, and 78 in Blacksburg. We are expecting a little bit of cloud development here in the next few hours, and that's going to lead to a few showers and storms across the area. Take a look at your national satellite radar. We're really hot out west. Temperatures very warm and continue to be, as you can see, all those heat watches and warnings. And then, but for us, it's going to be very humid, and then we have more chances of rain and storms later on in the day. Let's time it out for you with Futurecast. As you can see, we'll have storms start to build up about 5 to 7 p.m., some of which could produce some pretty torrential rainfall, which would be something to monitor just given the fact it could create some localized flash flooding. And then just the morning sunshine and kind of any sun we get right now is going to fuel the chance for thunderstorms that as we progress throughout the day. Everything exits overnight, cloud cover continues, and then tomorrow we'll see showers and storms start to build up a little bit by about 3 p.m. Tomorrow looks more like a rain event than a thunderstorm event, but we could still see a few th rumbles of thunder. And again, high risk of flash flooding just from the heavy rainfall in the short amount of time, thinking possibly up to two to three inches of rainfall for hour. So overall, it's going to be something to monitor, which is also why we're under a flash flood risk right now. Weather Prediction Center has put us under a slight risk of flash flooding in the area. So that's going to be something to monitor, especially if you're in an urbanized or just on the roads, keeping safe there. Now, taking a look at rain chances for the next few days, 70% chance tomorrow, 60% on Thursday. Then we actually start to decrease our chances of rain as we start to head into the weekend, meaning we could be on tap for a pretty nice weekend this weekend as that cold air moves through, giving us a little bit of dry air and kind of decreasing the humidity, keeping temperatures pretty similar though. Temperatures today, 88 in Roanoke, 84 in Rocky Mount, 86 in Martinsville, 81 in Blacksburg, and 87 in Lynchburg. So overall, pretty seasonable temperatures for the area, and that's going to keep going throughout the rest of the week. Taking a look at what's happening in our neck of the woods, again, plenty of rain is going to lead to that front flood risk today, and then we could see a few coastal showers, parts of the Outer Banks and Virginia Beach, and then a pretty sunny start for Richmond and parts of Central Virginia, but they'll get some storms later on in the evening as well. Taking a look at your seven day outlook and your three day outlook, 88 degrees today. Again, 6% chance of showers and storms, mostly coming towards the later afternoon and early evening. And then we'll stay in the mid 80s throughout the rest of the week, along with that shower and thunderstorm chance. And then we very quickly dry up this weekend, meaning it could be a nice weekend ahead. Uh, just overall, Keisha, it could be pretty good. Okay, well, that's good to hear. And I will say with all of this rain, you know, I've been feeling like it's not as humid. It's a little bit cooler. So that's good as well. Absolutely. And this weekend, if that cold front comes through, drier air, it'll feel much better.